the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 <laughs> Just hold his hand. He's your life and the length of your days. So you've, you've got to, really when you're, you're guarding your faith, you're guarding your heart. Don't let people tell you what you did and what you didn't do. Say, well, pastor, maybe there is sin in somebody's heart and that causes sickness. Yes, that can happen. Trust me, I have repented several times for every sin that I've ever committed. And, uh, you know, just to make sure. I receive communion every night. Uh, I do everything that I know to make sure all the bases are covered. I've looked up all the healing scriptures and I have little angles on them and I try to convince God about what he said, <laughs> that he should do it, and, you know, use everything that I can think of, biblically speaking, and uh, take a clear stand in my faith, in my heart, for what I believe. With the heart, man believes. If you let someone damage your heart, if they wound your heart, well, your body doesn't have a chance. You've got to guard your heart. Out of it flow all the issues of life. So guard your heart. I'm, I'm talking to somebody who's watching the broadcast tonight. You guard your heart. Don't believe everything someone has told you. Someone has told you, wrong things and they've hurt your spirit and they've wounded your spirit and you're to cast those things down in the name of Jesus.